Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with another kiss and blow or blowing a kiss. It's kind of, well, it is actually a cross between uh, the two techniques, which are the Dutch pour and um, my favourite, my balloon kiss. So it's a kiss and blow or blow and kiss or blowing a kiss or whatever. But um, probably just, just with different materials than I've done previously. I've done the previous one or two that I've done with the uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics um, and a little bit of the Montmartre Pouring Paints. So today I'm going to try and uh, blow some of these, kiss and blow some of these, uh, where we go? They're the, I've done previous videos this week with them, just different techniques. So I'm just trying all the different techniques. These are the Folk Art Metallics. So I've mixed them with, as I'm doing this experiment, uh, the acrylic flow medium. That's what I've mixed these particular paints with, uh, the Montmartre acrylic flow medium. And I added one drop of the gloss to see if it makes a difference with my paints and then so I've mixed the different colors and I also this one the green was the color shift paint so as you can see they do color shift shimmering shimmery shimmery also the other one was the dragonfly glaze I put a spot of dragonfly glaze in each of the colors because it gives such a lovely shimmery effect and I've done Three di uh, two different styles uh, this week whether you've seen them or not I'm not sure I did a, a flip and lip and then I did kind of a spin kind of a bloomy type one all of these paints are available I've got a link underneath if you're in Australia um, and the link for Capriol Shabby Chic sells all these paints if you're in the US I believe they're available basically anywhere this was just I just made up I used my I always use my bottles so I made up some um, just white just the Montmartre Studio Acrylics in white with my PVA and glue so that'll be my base for this particular one um, just give it a swizzle over with my um, spatula hope that I've, this video finds you guys all okay and coping with everything um, and if you're not please reach out and to people that you may know or friends or online support if you're suffering from any kind of anxiety or depression please there is people there to help us all if if we need be don't feel alone and if you like me I retreat to my art room and start creating something it's my therapy and I think most therapists will agree that art is a per perfect therapy oh I'm not real good with my words I'm getting them all all wrong but yes so all I'm just trying to say is is just reach out to somebody if you feel you need to because we're going through really unprecedented um, stressful times all over the world and I just know that there's so many people suffering and it's horrible to think there are people out there that feel they've got nobody so there is always somebody for somebody so you've just got to reach out and ask but hopefully you oh. <laughs> Okay, I didn't put the lid on that real good, did I? <laughs> See, you get you get little incidents in life that just pop out before you even realise it, and you just got to cope with them at the time. Just smooth them out. Look, that's what you do: smooth them out, smooth out the bubbles in your in your road, <laughs> in your path. Just smooth them out. So, my idea for this little one. Well, this is a. 40 by 40 canvas my idea for this one is the kiss and blow like I said but I kind of want to put the colors and blow up that way so it looks like a flower garden 
Now, it probably will look nothing like that because now I've told you what was in my head. It probably won't look anything like it, but let's, let's just give it a go. And if it doesn't turn out how I envisage it, absolutely fine. I've tried. So I'm going to do it. Put my colours, which is this beautiful amethyst colour. This is a pearly one, so I'll put the pearly one in there. And this gorgeous, gorgeous green, that's the colour shift one, that's beautiful too. So I might do two lines of that. And the red. So they've all got the dragonfly glaze in, remember to um, help give some shimmery shininess. So remember, I kind of want my garden a bit down here too. I don't know if this is going to work. I have absolutely no idea, but we just give it a go. Just give it a go. This is the silver. I'll add some silver up here to be the last bits that blow out. Might even add some blingy stuff up there. So I have no idea how these paints will go with the uh, kiss and blow technique that I've done before, but you don't know till you try, do you? So we just give it a go. Kiss and blow everything out. Just a little bit of white that I have left, so I'll just pop it in. I think I have to put a bit more of this green in because it is so yummy, 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 yummy. My little dog Benson is doing pretty good. I had went to the vet again yesterday because he has had a bit of a worrying kind of head nod. Nothing has shown up in his bloods that he's got anything, you know, wrong in bloods, but the um, I don't know if he's had a knock to the head at a previous, where he was in his previous uh, lady who owned him. I'm not sure. I can't really say, but it's kind of, um, hopefully it's just something that comes out okay in the end with him. All right. Okay. Let's get this done. I will give it heat first. So I'll use my Wonder Wand. I don't want to kind of dry out the paints before I get my my big my big uh, hair dryer on it. So, so let me just check that my camera is running because I've had technical difficulties. Okay, I better move anything that I can tip out the way over. Uh, tip over out the oh, whatever. Okay, let me see that I've got this on cool. Yep. So, I'm going to blow up first, I'm not, oh, okay, I stuff it up, I want to add a bit of white, more white in there to blow it, to blow it. So that was just some I had left. These are just these are just paints I have left, so I'm going to just use them as a sort of um, coat to blow. So here we go, float.
Wow, look at that. <laughs> Sliced up so much, that's weird. Oh, this is lacing too. Okay, oh well, like I said, I was first using this acrylic flow medium with the pouring medium that I just showed to you, so that may make the difference because that's all different than what I would normally use. I'm going to put a bit of heat on it. Remember, none of this has had any silicone in, so. just use my it's just a stainless steel straw with the silicone on the end you meant to use it as straw the other way but I find it helpful I like I'm gonna leave that because that's so shiny from the uh, dragonfly glaze beautiful remember I want to add my balloon work down the bottom so that's why I'm not too worried about how this is looking at the minute it might be a little bit too wet to do my balloon work straight away but I'll give it a try um, I was looking for my oh there it is hiding from me my little I just want to use my little um, the little balloon that's filled with water so it's just to do some tiny little balloon kisses in yeah the paint's a little bit wet at the moment and besides I haven't tried doing the kissing with this particular paint it might be better to leave this all together as it is but I might just leave it for a, a while because look how much paint's on there there's so much paint that it's not giving you any um, definition with the balloon like it would normally but um, I mean it's beautiful anyway isn't it oh, well I think so <laughs> so um, when you're the person doing it you're the really the one that counts if you enjoy and love what you do, you've created then that's all that matters you know what anybody else thinks of it blah that's okay anyway we should all be kind to one another and lift each other up not um yeah criticize I think that me doing that other paint underneath as a base is kind of causing this particular paint to split a little bit. Um, it is on the edges, so maybe it needs maybe it needs a um, different kind of paint for this. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave that for a little while to just let the paint absorb into the canvas and see how it develops but I might even leave it as is I'll just see so it's quite beautiful soft and I know that it will come up really lovely once it's dry and had some um, resin with the dragonfly glaze and it will give it a really super shiny effect but yeah that's quite nice what do you think guys yay or a nay would you or wouldn't you so it's kind of uh, my kiss and blow but I haven't got the kisses in it quite yet so I'll just come back in um I'll leave it for 20 minutes and I'll come back and see um how we go okay if I don't do anything further to it I will just post the photos after this video you know at the end of this video I'll just post the photos of what it ended up 
looking like dried so thank you guys for joining me don't forget that the uh, link to online suppliers in the drop down box um, for these particular products and my description will be there and if you haven't subscribed please do so I absolutely appreciate it and it's free and yeah let me know what you think and yeah have you used these dragonfly metallics and dragonfly oh, glaze I mean they're really quite beautiful paints to work with so any any ideas and um I'll get back to you thanks for now thanks for now come back and I'm going I've poured a, some of the leftover paints on the bottom and I'm going to um, blow them again so I might stuff it up or I might not so I hope not but I just wanted a more intense color at the bottom so we'll just see what I come with <laughs> stuffed it up but I'm gonna just see if I can get some balloon kisses out of it when it's dried in a bit just around the bottom and leave the top like this wispy so I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna see if I can balloon it keep going with it Okay, I didn't like, I didn't like my effort of my kiss and blow with those particular colours or paints. So I'm just going to go and probably completely stuff it up. But I'm using some Montmartre paints that I had pre-mixed pre here. I'm just going to go over the whole lot. So that's, that was the um, Montmartre. Uh, I think it's light purple and I mixed it with silver so they're kind of the same colors and I'm just thinking well I don't like it how it is so why why put up with it so I'm gonna just go with it I've got some gold I mean I could just probably would have been better that I just scrape the whole canvas but I'm gonna just I'm just going to play it's a bit of turquoise that had a bit of blue added so I'm just going over the whole lot and you'll probably scream at me saying what did you do or you may agree that it was the best thing to do I didn't like how it turned out I think that because I used that paint underneath um, it just sent it yeah like sort of bitty and it still may do that to this now I'm just popping on my gloves so you if you know me you know that I'll if I'm not ha completely happy I'll just work with it to try and change it try and make it you know a, a, what is it a sow's ear I'll try and make a silk ear out of a sow's ear or something like that I don't know what the same go so this might completely stuff up because it's got all the different mixes of paints um absolutely i have no idea but obviously it had a lot of paint on it because it certainly
pouring off like crazy so that may be what I did wrong I may have put way too much paint on it I'm gonna just see if I can get anything out of it I haven't had to mix any paints because there were paints that were sitting here so if I can't get anything nice I will scrape it and reuse the canvas the next time so it's got all sorts in this one hasn't it <laughs> absolutely all sorts so I'm going to give it a swipe what about a swipe diagonal let's uh... no I'll go through the center with navy just got it sitting there all good a quick quick swipe with my soft plastic file divider wasn't happy at all with it so let's see if I can get anything whatsoever <laughs> oh this is all sorts in this so <laughs> Oh my goodness, wow, some crazy things happening there. Crazy, crazy, but it's got all sorts of paints in it. That's why all sorts of paints, all sorts of pouring mediums. So if it turned out absolutely stunning, I'd probably I'll have to go back and what did I do here and what did I do there? When did I add that? Anyway, I'll just get on with it. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I love it. now I'm trying to rush I should just slow down because I don't know whether I'm going to even add this bit of footage to it what am I doing wow okay oh, you doing? <coughs> hey 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 what you doing squabbling Well, 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 there you go. I quite like that. I haven't even done any. Well, I've done his swipe. There you go. Well, I'm having one of those weeks. do I think I better go and have some coffee I need my caffeine I like that better than it was still coming in holes and... hey 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 gosh okay let's see if I can just balloon it through here that's all not sure how this will turn out <laughs> All these dogs, I'll tell you. Wow, I like that. I like that. See, the balloon gives it a kiss of life. Oh my goodness. They're like little children playing around your feet. Hey, hey, hey! Oh my goodness. Bedlam. I had them locked out while I was doing the video because they were acting crazy. But look at that. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I will add this on to the end of the video to show you what really happened. I just, I just like it like that. I don't like these holes that are appearing. And they're obviously from the silicone that was in my Montmartre paint. Um... I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm going to just leave that. Photos will be on at the end. Thank you so much, guys and girls. Thank you so much. I think my joke today was this. It was all in one big joke, wasn't it? But quite like that. Quite like that. <laughs>